Hey guys, just ventured out here to check on a few things and I decided to use this uh, infrared thermometer to see or prove, as if I didn't know what would happen, how much cold is stored in chunks of metal. <laughs> so I looked at the ambient temperature, then the chuck, and then the mill table and vice, and then my very old anvil. <laughs> and you can see from that just how much the uh, cold temperatures are stored. It's going to take a long time to pull the temperatures up on these, although we've got some better temperatures coming for about, I don't know, four days maybe. But uh, putting heat in doesn't really help very much. And uh, the mill in particular is uh, very stiff on the uh, on the dovetails, you know, lubricant gets sticky, it's horrible. Anyway, that's all it is, just a demonstration of what happens when stuff gets really cold. Alright, that's it, see you later, bye for now, thanks for watching. Well, here's the shop ambient at the moment. <laughs> this is a slight warming trend, we've got sun outside and the temperature is pulling up a little bit. But I thought I'd just show you a comparison between this and large chunks of metal. I'm not sure whether this will show. Fourteen. Thirteen point five. Fourteen point five. Fourteen. I don't know where 19 came from, hang on a minute. So it's around 14 or 15. That's a large mass of metal. Let's try some other surfaces. We're on the vice. These are reflective surfaces, which doesn't help. 14.5, 14. Then we can see the display. And there's the mill table. 14.5. Crazy, isn't it? How about a larger chunk of metal? This is my old anvil, covered in clutter, which is normal. It's about 10 degrees, and of course that is a massive 10.5, uh, very large chunk of metal. So a couple of days of better temperatures shows a useful trend. What was interesting, I think, was the, uh, in quotes, storage <laughs> of the cold in the uh, previous series of clips. Um, now that the uh, various large metal objects are up to over freezing point, it's certainly helping. Uh, it's a bit humid, so I've got to keep watch for any flash rusting, but if the temperatures stay better for a bit longer, and I put a bit of heat in out here, maybe I can get out and get something done, I don't know, I've got to, <laughs> a lot of other things on which slow me down, but uh, I look forward to getting in here at some point. Anyway, that's it again, bye for now, thanks for watching, <laughs> bye. This is, uh, I think, about day two of improved temperatures, it's uh, Outside about 44, and you can see in here we're at 42.4. Uh, so the temperatures have had about 48 hours to come up a bit. Last night was a bit milder, which also helped. But uh, let's have a look and see what the various lumps of metal are doing. Now the chuck's caught up to a certain extent, 38, so it's still lagging behind ambient but uh, certainly coming up a bit. 
Now on the mill we're up to 36.5 on the uh, vice. And about the same on the table. Finally, the scruffy old. Let's try and get that display showing. The old anvil. That's 34, so it's lagging behind predictably. But at least it's above freezing. 